Hello, so today we're going to be going over two things. Uh, first off, NAICS code. So NAICS, people say it like different ways, NAICS code, all that stuff. I've heard it a number of ways, but I call it a NAICS code. It's like a snake, but you take the S off the beginning and you put it at the end, NAICS. Um, these are codes. This is, this is a coding system, actually, that, that the government uses to uh, very pretty much uh, – categorized all of the different industries. Uh, so there is a multitude, hundreds, thousands of industries, and each one has several NAICS codes in, in many cases. So we're going to kind of go through that today. Um, if you're if you're building out your SAM record and you know kind of a, in the startup mode, uh, starting to go after G government contracts, then you're going to need to know your NAICS codes and you're going to want to put every single NAICS code that applies into your SAM record. Uh, but how do you find them all? Um, so we're going to go over that first. Then after that, we're going to transition over and just talk about it's kind of the, the NAICS code's uh, younger brother, uh, GSA categories, which used to be very different from NAICS codes, yet similar, yet, yet they were somewhat connected. Now they're very much connected. Um, in some cases, they're the exact same thing. So we're going to look at that as well. So um, First and foremost, let's go over NAICS code. So just Google NAICS code lookup. There's NAICS.com. I find, you know, there's a handful of other ones, but I find this one to be just fine. Um, code search. Uh, you could, I would just skip over that. Um, the, the main page is just go to code search. And there's a nice little search area right here. So you can search NAICS codes. Let's not talk about SIC or any other type of codes. Let's keep it very focused in on NAICS. Um, so this right here is where you can plug in what you do. Let's say you are a plumber, or let's say you offer plumbing supplies. Let's just type in plum. What comes up? Plumbing fixture installation. These are common keywords right here, and this is the actual NAICS title. This is the NAICS code. So uh, we have plumbing and looks like HVAC contractors. So if you're a contractor and you are more on the installation side, this is a good place. But if you are a manufacturer, there's one for you right here. Um, plumbing fixture manufacturing. So if you're a manufacturer, you might as well throw in these two. And in fact, here's a wholesaler. So let's say you don't manufacture plumbing equipment or supplies, but you are a, a distributor, then this is for you. Um, it's always good to kind of look all the way through and do a lot of different searches of any and all keywords that could relate to your industry because you know the, the more the better you get found from buyers based on these codes as they show up in your uh, SAM record and then also in your GSA when you go to pursue that. So that was just a quick little rundown of NAICS codes. And let's jump over to the next one. All right, this is GSA eLibrary. You could just go to this link, this link, these will, these links will be all in uh, the, the YouTube um, description below. So you can go click on um, see more and Click on the link, it'll take you right here. Um, so this is the main page. Now, here's what I do, and I've been doing this for 17 years at this point. This is how I navigate the big list of GSA SINs. On the right side in this, I don't know, eight point font, uh, we see viewed schedule contracts underneath schedule contracts. So I don't know if you could see that little hand, but it's right here, view schedule contracts. Click on that. That's gonna take you to eventually a uh, full list of the GSA SINs. Now, SIN is short for uh, special item number. And when it gets there, gosh, this is taking a while. This is the page that it lands on. So you can see there's this handful of 62, 65s. That's all the, the FSS. We don't care about that. We really just care about the multiple award schedule. That's the same thing as a GSA contract. So I'm going to click on MAS and it's going to load this really big long page. Look at over here on the, the scroller. Oh, it keeps going and going and going. Keeps going. All right. So in eLibrary, there is a search feature. I don't recommend you use it. Just use your browser. So I'm going to hit Control F and let's try Plum right here. Oh, there we go. Look, it shows up right here on the very first category. This is the SIN, 561210 FAC. Um, if you take the FAC off, then you have 561210. Let's take, let's come back here. 561210. 
facility support services. So plumbing falls into that one. So that's just kind of a, a thing to know. Uh, you, If you are a plumber, you may actually want to 